to get to your Google Classroom, you are going to log in to your cloud. And once you're in your cloud, if you don't see this icon right here, Google Classroom, you're going to click on the Google tab right here and you will find the Google Classroom app. Go ahead and click on Google Classroom. This student doesn't have any Google Classrooms. So we're going to join the first classroom. So we're going to click on plus right here. And even if you have Google Classrooms from previous, you still need to add the new class for this year. So everyone's going to click on plus for that. And your teacher is going to give you a code to type in so you can join their class for this year. Click on join. There are three different parts to Google Classroom. The first one right here is stream. That's where your teacher is going to send announcements and information. So here I have a little message here. Hello, kinder kiddos. Hope you're having a great day. Talk with you soon. Just a simple message. If you see a message from your teacher, you'll want to read that, okay? Or where we're gonna go a lot is to classwork. So I'm gonna click on classwork. And this is where your teacher organizes all of the assignments or activities that they want you to do. And let's go ahead and check out the different types of activities. This icon right here means that it is a material post. So if you click on there, it's going to give you instructions, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and click on this right here. And then it just gives you a quick little information on what it is and then it gives you something here, a link. What you need to do is click on view material so you can see all of the material there that you want to read. And it's gonna give it to you in another page here. And right here, you can click here, okay? When you click on the activity, it's gonna go to a new tab. You didn't lose your Google Classroom, it's right here. See the tab right here? I just went to a new activity here, and this is from a librarian wanting to show some really cool books. Okay, right now it's loading. I have to be patient. That means it's a really exciting activity that has lots of um, activities on there. Okay, I'm going to let it load. I'm going to go back over here. We'll come back to that. Now, how to get back to where we were at? You're going to use this back button here. And now I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna show you another activity. This one is an assignment. There's some information there from a teacher and you need to click on view assignment to see the whole thing, okay? Now, this is the information here, but look what it did right here. It says your work and this is a student's, okay? So this student's last name is Dixon and that means that they got their very own copy of the activity. So once you read the directions, you're gonna click on that. It's gonna go to the activity there and you're gonna have your very own copy there, okay? See how it, how it already named it? Okay, and this lets you interact with the activity and um, it may have you type some things, it may have you drag some things um, and add information and just show your learning. So th that is an assignment where you have your own copy, okay? There it is, and you can see you can drag things around, okay? Now the thing with this, once you're done with this and you wanna show your, your teacher, you need to turn it in. So you show them that you finished it. So we're gonna click back on this tab. And then when you're ready and you're sure you're proud of your work and you're, it's complete, you're gonna click on turn in. And then you're going to make sure you're ready, turn in. And then it's going to go back to your teacher, okay? I wanna show you what we were waiting to load. That's this right here. So this isn't your own copy. It's just something that you can click on. And when you click on it, it takes you to a link, okay? So it's gonna take you to something that you uh, can view or interact with. Sometimes there's games on there, okay? And if you ever need to go back, find the tab that has your Google Classroom, and there it is, okay? And when you're ready to sign out, you can click on the X, and then in cloud, go to the door, that means go sign out, click on that, and you're all done.